Hi everybody! I have a really funny book for you today. It's called Potato Pants and it's by Lori Keller and it is just a delight. You're gonna love it. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at these characters. Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. And again, remember, what does it mean if there's only one name on it? That's right. She did both the pictures and the words. She was the author and the illustrator. So she's pretty amazing. You're going to love this book. Look at this. This is super cool. Um, Mac, she actually came to Maximus's school um, as a guest, and she signed this book to him, to Maximus from Laura Keller. So pretty special, huh? So this is the title page. All right, ready? <clears throat> Potato is excited. That is why he's doing the robot. Look at he's doing the robot. <laughs> I call it the Pobot because I'm a potato. <laughs> He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store is selling potato pants! Eee! <laughs> potato knows every tater in town will want a pair, so he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. Look at all of those potatoes running to get to that store for potato pants. They are so excited. So here is Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store. He's saying, I want a stripy pair just like the ones in the window. You see the ones in the window? He really wants those. With stripy suspenders for added stripiness. <laughs> Is there a kind of clothes you like to wear? Do you like any particular pattern? Do you like stripes or polka dots or a certain color? What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about that eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's fancy pants store. Do you think it's okay that the eggplant goes into the to the fancy pants store? What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Yesterday was eggplant pants day. I'm not looking for pants. Potato won't, won't go into Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store now because of that eggplant. What do you think about that? Just because the eggplant is in there, potato won't go in there. What do you think about that? That eggplant is nothing but trouble, he says. Yesterday, I was walking along, minding my own potatoey business. Out of my way, pow! when he ran by me and pushed me right into the trash can. Well, that does seem to be pretty mean, doesn't it? Hmm. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, he'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Hmm. So maybe he had a bad experience with him and he doesn't want that to happen again. But when I look at this eggplant's face in the store, he doesn't look like he's mean. I wonder what happened. I wonder if there's a story we don't really know. Poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. <gasps> I love my new potato pants. We love ours too. Mine have polka dots and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. Mine are kind of scratchy. I may need some potato underpants. <laughs> potato underpants. How is he feeling? 
Potato is losing his patience waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Potato pants day, that's ridiculous. Potatoes don't even wear pants. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Ooh, the grocery store. They have potatoes. Maybe they have potato pants too. Gosh. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, uh, grocery store. Do you have any potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are made for potatoes. We don't have potato pants. <laughs> well, maybe in your store you call them something like spud slacks, tater trousers, yam chaps. Any of those ring a bell? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. No clothing here, just food. He really wants his potato pants. Why doesn't he just go in? Talk to eggplant. Potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. Don't panic. I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. <gasps> only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will potato do now? Oh my gosh. All because of eggplant. Or is it? Hmm. Sometimes we don't know the whole story behind things. Best not to jump to conclusions. Potato pants! Only one pair left out of my way! What a brave potato. He's not gonna let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the rack. You think he's gonna get them? Potato pants! Oh, oh no, rip! Look who it is, eggplant. His potato, his potato pants just ripped. Bam! Where are they? I need potato pants. Yikes! Potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. Oh my gosh! What is gonna happen? Make predictions. Oh no, potato is too late. Where are they? Look, it looks totally cleaned out. No more potato pants. Sorry, I got the last pair on the rack. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Uh-oh, look what's going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? How is he feeling? He looks like he's about ready to explode. If you get really, really angry about something, what should you do? Let's see, what have we learned in class? We can do Tucker Turtle. We can take five deep breaths. We can close our eyes and imagine a beautiful beach and just breathe. He looks like he needs to breathe, doesn't he? Come on. Even he's telling himself, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You guys are really good at this. That's it. Think of puffy clouds. Inhale, exhale. Oh, oh. Forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. 
That eggplant ruined everything. It's his fault I didn't get potato pants. He has brand new perfect potato pants, but I'm totally pantsless. It's not fair. Uh, actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with the door and they ripped all the way up the back. You can see for yourself. Here he comes. Oh, potato. It's been nice knowing you. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Predictions. What's going to happen? Mm. I've been looking for you, Spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. Oh my gosh. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What do you think you should have done yesterday? What? T -t 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 Turn me into m -m -m mashed potatoes. I'm scared to turn the page. I'm here to apologize. Apologize? Can you believe this? For what? I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes? Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can or... But I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Oh, I don't know what to do. So will Potato forgive that eggplant or not? Did he mean to hurt him? No, he didn't. Was he in a rush and he wasn't being safe? Yeah. Have you ever been in that situation before where... You don't mean to hurt anyone, but you accidentally do. Did he do the right thing? He came back to apologize. Yeah, he did the right thing. I forgive you, eggplant. And I'm really, I'm sorry for ruining your eggplant pants. Excuse me. We can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be good as new. A fix. And a sale is over, so you can have the potato pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? Like them? Oh my gosh, I think everything is gonna turn out happy. Those were the ones he liked at the very beginning. I love them. Now that is one stripey potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants, besides their stripey stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants. Pobot pants.